When we slide over to this other area of fitness, most people want to talk about programs. A program generally is something that says this, do this until. That's my knock, first and foremost, on the whole fitness industry. Two weeks to a tighter tummy. Big guns in 14 days. PRX 90. What do you do on day 91? I have been lifting weights since 1965. How many six-week blocks is that? I don't know. I don't do math. But that's a lot. If you're going to take something as serious as performance, fitness, health, and longevity, so tell you what, doctor, I'm going to drink water for the next 90 days, and that, pff, that's it. Okay, tell you what, I'm going to make sure I sleep eight hours a day for the next week, and then I'm never sleeping again, because I'll care. No! I'm, I'm never going to have another bowel movement. I'm tired of it, you know? Uh, we don't think like that with anything in life. And yet, when we get to fitness, six weeks, two weeks, 90 days, 180 days. I'm not against it. For me, if we're in a program, I believe in two things, checklists and calendars. Calendars are very important. If you're with a professional team, the calendar runs everything. Where you're supposed to be, where you're supposed to go. Checklists are the other thing. You see this all the time. This is a very common one. I love this from Doghouse Diaries. People are convinced that here I'm gonna start today and I'm gonna start this program and if it's, you know, PR 94.2, you know, in 90 days, I can't, if I can do it, you can do it. You know what happens with most fitness programs, right? Usually it's about two days. Consumer Reports, that famous study did about treadmills. Average use of a home treadmill is 7.2 times. No one follows up on any of this stuff. Oh, but you can, come on.